Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I decided to do a trailer reaction. I hardly ever do one nowadays, because I think the last one I did was Curse of Chucky. Yeah, I was going to probably do one for Robocop, but I just didn't bother, because it just didn't do it for me. But anyway, I decided to do one for this new movie that's coming out this year, because I'm more familiar with it so much, because... I actually grew up with it. Yeah, there's going to be the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie that's coming out in, on August 8th of this year. It's coming out at the same time as Guardians of the Galaxy, which that's the film I'm really looking forward to see. So this one, I'm, I don't think I'm not going to be pleased with this one. But anyway, but as you know, I did grow up watching... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as a kid. I mean, I always loved the 1987 cartoon because it was the best one that I've ever seen. And then and I got to read the comics too. Yeah, I think I did read some of them, but not all. But it was cool. I remember we started dressing up as one of them, so that was awesome. We started wearing the shirts, the yeah, the t-shirts, and we also had the the ice creams that they were selling, uh, where they had the eyeballs as bubble gum. Remember those? Those were the days. And we used to play the video games all the time as well, from the NES system to the Sega Genesis. And we also played the arcade games too. It was awesome. I mean, yeah, it had its flaws and all that stuff, but it was cool. And we saw the movies though, the 1990 film as well as the 91 and 1993. The first movie was the best one of all. You know, you got to see the turtles in live action, you know, with animatronics and costumes, all done by the Jim Henson Creature Shop, along with Splinter. You know, he looks very good in that. And and many others. Had a lot of great characters, too, with April Neil, as well as uh, the Shredder, you know, played by a Japanese actor, and many others. It was definitely the perfect Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that we had. And, of course, we already know our, those names <laughs> of the turtles. You know, named after the Italian artists. And they always loved pizza after they started fighting and, and <laughs> using all these puns such as Calabunga! Awesome! Righteous! Bossa Nova! Bossa Nova? Yeah. And then the 1991 came along, which is the, the sequel of The Ooze, which had David Warner as a scientist who was actually in a lab that, that has all the ooze that was actually created from, from their origins. Yeah, because that's where the dangerous mutation it started it all. You know, when Shredder came back, once again, just you know, getting even with the turtles, you know, creating the new creations, you know, <laughs> bad guys, and, and then we had the song, Go Ninja, Go Ninja, Go, Go Ninja, Go Ninja, Go, from Vanilla Ice, the only good song in the movie. Ernie Rice Jr. as the pizza guy, who also does martial arts, so that was a good one. Then, of course, we had the third movie. Well, I know the second movie, you know, April O'Neil was replaced by a different actress in the second movie, of course. She returns in the third movie, you know, getting stuck in, in a time traveling straight to ancient Japan, which the Turtles wound up going just to save her. It, I didn't think the film wasn't that bad. I mean, it wasn't that great. I also forgot to mention Casey Jones was played by you know, Alias Cateas. Yeah, so that was great to see him because he was the best part of of all the Turtles movies, even though he didn't return in the second movie. So that was interesting. A lot of people disliked the third movie though, but it was okay. I I, I liked it. it. It felt something a lot different from the first two movies. I mean, I know the costumes and the animatronics didn't look right on the Turtles. But that's okay. They almost look quite similar to the first two. Because it was done by a different company. Called Effects. Yeah. 
anyway as years follow because the series ended already you know as the 90s went along we had Ninja Turtles Next Mutation which was bad yeah the Saban version of the Ninja Turtles I didn't like that live action version at all it was it was a piece of shit it really was I'm not surprised how bad it was I know we had all these stages shows because they were very popular. They started having the, <laughs> I know, they had the turtles out of the shell. Uh, yeah, the animatronics looks like crap. I wouldn't believe how shitty they look. And they really did. And while the music was decent, it, it wasn't that good at all. Um, the Christmas one was even worse. <laughs> yeah, there was a live action Christmas one too. Yeah, just as bad. But next, the next mutation was even worse. <laughs> Way worse. But then we got the 2003 series. And that was amazing. It was awesome. It was like a continuation. In fact, it was even better than I thought. And as much as I loved the 1987 series, this one followed it like the extreme. So 4Kids did a good job with that one. Because they had a dark feel to it. They focused on a different story. Of how it all started, it was perfect. It felt like a Ninja Tools that's done right. But TMNT, though, on the other hand, the, the 2007 CGI animated film was awful. I didn't like that movie at all. I had so many problems with it. It was too bland. Uh, I know they're supposed to focus on what the 2003 Turtles were like, and I think this was supposed to be a prequel to it. But it it's not a good one. I'm sorry. This is done by the same animators that went on to do Astro Boy in 2009. So, you know, that movie. I like that movie, though, but I didn't care about this one. Though. It was too much. But Turtles Forever, on the other hand, that was a good movie. It was definitely what we really needed. A crossover between the 1987 Turtles, the 2003 Turtles, and the comics. It worked so well. The only more disappointment though was that they didn't revive the original voice actors from the 1987 cartoon. But that's okay. It had the same problem with Tenchi when they were bringing it back in 2003. They were trying their best to bring back the original cast. Well, they did since the last one failed. But unfortunately, they didn't get uh, the voice actors to do the voice of Ryoko. So yeah, that was a shame. So it happens, but it still was awesome. I loved it until Nickelodeon picked it up and take a turn for the worse. Because already, I already know Nickelodeon was going downhill. But boy, I I thought the 2012 series was terrible. It, it makes TMNT look good in comparison, and I didn't like that at all. The way the, the animation looked. I'm sorry, man. It just didn't do it for me. I mean, Sean Aston did one of the voices, by the way, so. But anyway, I'm going to get right to it with the new movie that's coming out, and it's going to be produced by Michael Bay. Yep, the same guy that gave us Transformers, and <laughs> as well as Bad Boys, uh, The Rock, and those two shitty movies I hated so much, like Armageddon and Pearl Harbor. Yeah, those films were terrible. Piece of shit movies that I had to sit through over long too but I like the Transformers movies better than those in my opinion um, and it's going to be directed by Jonathan Lieberman who gave us Darkness Falls and Battle of Los Angeles so this ain't going to be pretty <laughs> oh my god I think the trailer looks just as bad as I'm going to expect it to be it did feel like Transformers once you saw it but it mostly because New York City is <laughs> falling apart yeah. I saw the turtles you know it's bad enough Michael Bay wanted to originally added them as aliens thank god they didn't go for that route because that would be so stupid but this is even worse they look like ogres and they're six feet tall I believe almost taller than a basketball player I don't like the way the reaction looks they, they look just as bad, especially when, when one of the turtles had to take off one of their masks off. Oh my god. 
I didn't like this at all. Um, I heard that William Frickner is going to be playing Shredder. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. He might be a good Shredder. Who knows? I mean, but it should have been played by a Japanese actor, perhaps. Well, it should have been, actually, because it made sense. It's part of the origin. I also heard that Danny Woodburn is going to be playing Splinter. And I'm like saying to myself, What? you got to be kidding me. I mean, this is an actor who's been in so many stuff, so many roles he's been in, including Seinfeld. I met him, by the way, you know, in 2012. He's a great actor. <laughs> He's funny too. But no way in hell will I see him as Splinter. I don't know. I, I gotta check this one out. I also want to find out about Casey Jones too, if he's gonna be in this one. But I don't know. This is just not right. I, I don't like the way the turtles look in this one. It makes the TMNT one look good. And that's not a good sign. But as for making Fox on the other hand. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. She is no April O'Neil. This is just ridiculous. She's just plain Megan Fox. And I gotta admit, I do like her. I mean, she can be hot. I mean, especially when it comes to Transformers and all that. But no way in hell is she April O'Neil. <laughs> she was wearing the yellow jacket, holding the cell phone, taking a picture of the disaster that was happening. Ugh. I just did not see her. And she's not even a redhead either. <laughs> she's just a brunette. Yeah, it's stupid. They couldn't, you know, I'm just surprised they could have at least had cast a redhead to play the role. It would have made much sense. You know, I would pick some better actresses out there. And what do we get? Megan Fox. Yeah, what do you expect from Michael Bay since, you know, they all had a fight back then when they were doing another sequel to Transformers and they said you know they wanted her in her place and during the first shot and of course she said she actually called Michael Bay a Hitler <laughs> yeah that's right Hitler that's what caused her to be fired so why would she want to work with him again <laughs> unbelievable Well, I'm not very pleased about this. Uh, the, even though this is only a teaser trailer, it looks pretty shitty once I look at it. Well, I'm going to probably look for the next trailer that's coming out uh, pretty soon to see what it looks like. So hopefully this isn't the only one. I might give it a look, but I'm not going to be proud of it. In fact, I already saw another trailer already you know, before this, and it was... <laughs> oh my god. Annie... There's going to be an adaptation of Annie that's going to be done by an African-American cast? Oh my f fucking god. I'm sorry. It, it, this is why I'm getting sick and tired of today's generation today. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting overboard there, but this is just getting worse and worse. Well, that's, well, that's more than what I paid for. Well, that's my trailer reaction to this film. Yeah, I, I didn't. I knew this is what's coming, and I'm not gonna enjoy it one bit. So anyway, I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.